Lake Awonga Adventure Race or Triathlon or whatever it was. It was in Lake Awonga. Super fun event, super tough event. We're at the Lake Awonga Adventure Challenge. It's been pouring all night, but it's actually cleared just a few minutes ago and it looks like it's going to be a wet, muddy day, but not raining. It was a weird little race where it had five legs to it. So it started with a mountain bike and then a run and then a swim and then a run and then a mountain bike. <laughs> Hopefully we remember the order. Hopefully we remember it. <laughs> and Amanda's taking the GoPro today, remembering we only have the one at the moment. So you're gonna see firsthand her race. And if we cross each other, you might see glimpses of me. About midnight the night before, we were in the caravan park right next door, it started pouring and it poured all through the night. They did change the bike course. We decided that I would take the GoPro for this race because we weren't really sure about Tim's calf and if he was going to pull his calf then we thought well that would be um, a pretty quick race and he wouldn't get much of it so you'd just get the ride and the run. The first bike was so hard. It was lots of fun but there was some really steep sections and because it was so muddy it was really hard to um, get up and very slushy to get down but I didn't get off my bike at all on the first ride so very proud of that. So we took off with what should have been about an 8k mountain bike but ended up being about 10 because everyone got lost and the trails were so muddy like so muddy and it was just big dippers up down up down it was actually really hard everyone got lost as I said which is fine we all did it together I'm trying to film you in the worst part oh everyone's lost turns out that I dropped the GoPro during the first ride so we didn't get any footage so I did actually tell someone on the bike, one of the volunteers, that if anyone finds a GoPro, um, it's mine, I've lost it. You'll see in the video, we actually don't get much footage of the race, just a little bit at the beginning of the first bike. And then we've just, we went the next day and just took a few little clips and things just to give you a bit of an idea of what it was like. And then into transition one, which was a run. And we ran along this beautiful trail next to the lake and it was a fantastic run I really enjoyed the run and then we jumped in for the swim so we had to carry our goggles with us in fact we also had to carry our running shoes with us on our bike so I just had a little backpack with my shoes in and then goggles around my neck so the swim was 500 meters I think it was probably a little bit longer it was quite windy so a little bit choppy but it was a good swim it's weird though when you do your swim after doing the bike and run first, just my shoulders were killing me. I don't know if that's from the, the jolting of the mountain bike, I don't know. But anyway, got through the swim. The run, beautiful, I loved it. I actually did a bit of a run recce the day before, so I knew what the course was like. It was just, it was beautiful. And we ran up to a lookout to turn around and it was a big honesty system. You just had to touch the fence and then turn back. So. Um, which we both did and then turned back for the swim. I, I loved the swim. It was really fun It was a little bit tough and sore arms though, and I think it was from the bike um, I don't know. It's just a feeling I'd never had before when I'm swimming We're not used to swimming in the middle of a race. It's usually the first thing Back on with the running shoes you ran back to where you left your bike so another oh, three kilometers or something like that on the same trails. Second run was even better. I passed a few people who were in the teams and you know it's always good motivation when you see someone ahead of you and you can pass them. Check out our new merch including our new TriFit in the Van logo. Men's and women's, blue only, link below. And then we had a 8k-ish I think mountain bike ride back through these wet muddy hard-ass trails to finish and they were tough and actually towards the end I only had to get off and, and hike a bike once this unrideable hill but towards the end of these slushy hills I was really starting to get a bit over it I'll be honest and then the last bike took off and I was going and it was fun I'm like going on this road and it went downhill and then I see Tim coming towards me Anyway, came out and as I was riding back to the finish line, I saw Amanda coming this way. 
I knew she'd taken a wrong turn, so I said, sweetheart, turn around, follow me. And where she should have turned, I sort of said, you're meant to go through there. So she added a bit to her ride. And he's like, you're going the wrong way. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. And I was. I missed the turn. I was too busy enjoying myself, missed the sign, and went straight instead of turn. So I ended up probably with an extra two case. Um, it was much nicer where I went rather than the actual course, but then I ended up doing the actual course as well, which was super steep. I did um, have to get off three times in that second part. Anyway, finished and uh, tough little race and I'm pretty tired today. But all in all, excellent, really enjoyed it and we'll definitely come back and do that again. So I finished first female, full disclosure. There were, I think there were only two in the long course. There were a lot of women in the other races, the shorter races. And I really like that I feel strong enough to actually go into the harder races. I usually pick the longest one I can find and it's good to be able to go into that and know that you can finish that. So women, come on, come and join me. I found it for you. Did you lose that out there? We found it, wow. yes. I I found it. Thanks for racing with us.